joy or happiness, success or failure, peace or dismay. The foundations of our life rest on the words we receive. A word of hope and guidance, translated from the Temple of Solomon in Brazil. You are listening to a word of faith with Bishop Macedo. Univer Video is your platform for Christian content, and it gives you access to the church meetings of the Universal Church around the world, and they are in English. Even the meetings at the Temple of Solomon that provide live, simultaneous translations to English. All you have to do is sign up. And this is how. Visit www.univervideo.com online or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card ready and choose your terms of payment. And before you know it, you'll be up and running. Stay connected to the things of faith during the 21 days fast of Daniel. Hello, my friends. A very good morning. May God bless all of you. May He bless you in the way He wants to bless you, as He's always desired to bless you by making you understand His Word. Because if we understand the Word of God, then we are going to understand the will of God. And if we understand the will of God through His Word, and we practice, and we obey it, then we will eat the best of the land, which is determined for those who obey the sacred scriptures, those who obey the word of God. See, my friend, that God is so great, so glorious, so just, so just, that He, when He made us in, in His image and likeness, He gave us the right, the privilege, to choose our own path to determine what we really want, meaning God gave us His image. He made us, He created us in His image, with His image, exactly for us to follow His thoughts, His will, his steps. See what the sacred scripture says there in Genesis. Chapter 1 verse 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion. Meaning, God gave us His image and likeness that we may dominate the land, to dominate the animals, to have dominion over the skies, the earth, the sea, the skies, the animals, which is what happens. Men have dominion over animals. Men are subject to heavens. They travel from one side to the other. Men have dominion over the air. They go from one side to the other. In the speed of sound, men go to the moon. Man goes to the depths of the sea. 
They are not fish, but they have more power than the fish inside the sea because they reach the depths of the oceans. So when God made us in His image and likeness, it was for us to dominate the heavens, the earth, and the sea. However, for this to happen, men would have to follow his counsel, would have to follow his voice, his word, the word of God. He would have to match his their thoughts, their will with the will and the thoughts of God. But you see that God did not impose his will. With an image and likeness of his, we have the right to choose good, righteousness, what is right, but also to choose evil, which is disorder, which is chaos, which is injustice, which is sin. We have this capacity. When God made Adam and Eve, He made them perfect, perfect. They had no sin, they were perfect. So much so that God walked with them. God walked with Adam and Eve. Why? Because there was perfection. And they matched God in their perfection. But when Adam and Eve chose to disobey and eat the fruit of the tree which was forbidden, they opted for evil. So humanity grew. Humanity grew and developed within chaos, with the spirit of chaos, with the spirit of rebellion, with the spirit of sin. So humanity today, which started with the couple, there in the Garden of Eden, the garden of perfection, of innocence. They were chased out because they lost the image and likeness of the Most High, because they chose evil. Now you say, oh, but Adam and Eve, come on. I am reaping the fruits which Adam and Eve planted of rebellion. Yes, it's true. We reap the fruits. However, with knowledge of the Word of God, with the conscience of what is good and what is bad, what is right, what is wrong, with the conscience of what is just and what is unjust, we can make our own history. We can restore our communion with God. Because when Jesus came, He paid for our sins. He erased our sins through His sacrifice. But we need to walk according to His will. That is why He gave us the conscious of what is right and what is wrong, of what is righteous and unrighteous. And we freely, if we choose what is righteous, then we return to have the image similar to the Most High and we start to have communion with Him. But, 
if we opt for what is unrighteous, what is fashion or trends in this world, rebellion, then God can do nothing because he gave us and gives us the right to have back the good conscience, the conscience of what is good, of what is righteous, the conscience of what is right. From the moment we follow his word, we hear his voice, we obey his voice. Now, if we enjoy chaos, if we incline to what is unrighteous, to unrighteousness, then he, God, will be able to do nothing because he gave us the right to choose our own path. So you understand now why people suffer they suffer because they have their inclinations, their good conscience inclined to evil. They had a good conscience, but they inclined to evil and they will reap the fruit of this choice, of this bad choice. So, my friend, do you want to change your life? You say, no, I am tired of living this life. I am tired of being myself. I don't want to be whom I've been. I want to start a new life. Amen. Praise God. So, start to obey the Word of God. Start to put the Word of God in practice in your life. It does not matter if your husband, your wife, your mother, your father, your children... It does not matter if the world, the trends, leads to chaos and disorder. Go to what is order, what is righteous and correct. Follow the path to a good conscience. And you will be blessed on earth. You will eat the best of this land. This is what God has given us. It does not depend on luck. My life does not depend on luck. I was not born determined to luck. I was born with the image and likeness of the Most High. And I opted, I chose to walk according to His Word. So today I reap the fruit of my obedience. So my friend, your life depends on you. If no one wants to hear your voice, if no one wants to give you attention to what you want to do, which is right, let them be, go alone, and God will bless your inclination to righteousness because God is righteousness. All right? May God bless all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And praise be to God. In fact, this Saturday, we will have a celebration of a meal for all the families of faith, the families whom desire. Perhaps you are that person who has no father, no mother, you have no one. But we are going to be your family and we are going to be joined this Saturday, 5 p.m. You will place at your table a loaf of bread representing the Lord Jesus. You will put there your coffee, a snack, a meal, which if you want. But mainly we're going to have the bread which represents the body of the Lord Jesus and we're going to participate of the table of the Lord. It's not the Lord's Supper, but it's the table of the Lord for the family. You are our guest because we will be having this ceremony throughout the world. 
Everybody who wants, everyone who desires to have a family and participate of the celebrations with us, then we're going to sit at the table, myself and my family, all the families. We are going to connect through Record TV and also social networks, social platforms. And you are our guest this coming Saturday, 5 p.m. Brasilia time. And in other places, the times will vary depending on the place. God bless you all. Until then, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I was a person who is very short-tempered and don't have no patience. When I want something, I want it now. When I want something to done, I want it to done now. So I have no patience. I don't have a lot of tolerance about things. Due to all of these stress, you know, then you get, I develop high blood pressure and was borderline diabetic. Yeah, because you can't get to eat the way how you want to eat. If you even want to exercise, you don't have no time because you've been working a lot. So it's just one thing after another. I know that there was a God, but I wasn't seeing it in my life. So then it kind of let you want to step back from Christianity. One morning at work, I saw the TV program on the TV. And that's from, you know, it was seen very interesting. And you know, how the pastor was preaching, it was like he was preaching to me. Like, you know, he could hear my cry. Like, you know, he know, yeah, that lady's watching, carrying all of his burden. <laughs> So I said, you know, I get the number down and went home and call it. They pray for me, you know, and then they tell me the nearest church to me, which is the one in Merrick. From the minute I walked through the door of the church, it was like a load lifted off me. And I said, because I, I was a Christian before going there, I used to go to another church. And I said, hmm, this is different. Because I used to have problem when I was going to the church and I just couldn't seem to get anywhere, no help, right? And when I go there, I just, like an instant feelings of burden lift off me, change of the way I feel about life. You know, you want to carry on, you, you know? Let you, you, was upliftment, like, yes, hope is there. And I just know that God is going to take care of things now. I started to the chain of prayer and I started to go Monday, which is a financial, because that was my big problem right there. So I started to go on Monday, so financial. And I also go on Fridays. I used to go on Fridays too. And, um, and Sundays, I try not to miss no Sundays. And till I started to do Saturdays, which I help to evangelize and stuff like that, until I started to do every day of the week. Because the more I go, is like the more I want. The more I go, the more food I want. Because I started to see, feel difference in my body. And Bishop called me up and he started to pray for me. And from he prayed for me, I received my deliverance right there. I see change in my finance, big change in my finance. I'm healed from, from diabetes, right? Borderline diabetes, I healed from that. And I'm on my way for healing for the high blood pressure also. I received the Holy Spirit because I learned after all of that come down, I learned how to have faith because I never used to have faith because when I see things wasn't going my way, I used to easily well give up like on stuff. And you know, like, where is God? You know, but I learned how to have faith that continue, keep on going, keep on going. The result is going to come. 
keep on going and I'm still going because I still have a lot more that I want to accomplish that I don't get yet and I'm not going to give up I'm still going I read my Bible more I talk to God more I pray more and when I pray I believe when I pray that God is going to come true for me at first I would just pray and just that's it because I never see a lot of things happening in my life so it's like I didn't even believe that certain things would happen to me or for me I talk to him I explain my life I give him thanks for what I have received from him and I let him know just give me the strength to go on and to carry me through and by me just sit down and keep doing this over and over again and keep having that faith I just receive the Holy Spirit with that peace that peace that come inside of me is like a burden just lift off me and I'm like the happiest person like it, it lights your days up it give you that breath of fresh air let you have that wonderful smile like wow you know and you want like I wonder where this come from but then I realize this is how the Holy Spirit feel to have peace so no matter what come my way is like I can conquer and I know I will conquer so it give me that faith and the strength to go on no matter what is open 24 hours a day, every day of the week, all year round. If you need help due to a serious problem you may be going through, if you feel that you have nowhere to turn to and desperately need someone to lend a listening ear, then we can help you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done, your religion or race. Your call will be answered by someone who genuinely cares about you and have your best interests at heart. We also arrange home visits for the housebounds and hospital visits for anyone in great need of kindly human contact. Whether it is simply information you want or desperately need someone to talk to, we're here for you. some